A never-before-seen asteroid spotted by NASA's newly reactivated Asteroid Hunting Space Telescope known as NEOWISE. NEOWISE stands for Near-Earth Object Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer. You got that, John? Yep. All right. It came out of hibernation just last month, and this is what it found. A rock now named 2013 YP-139. Uh, we're told it's potentially hazardous, orbiting 27 million miles from Earth and it's getting closer. Dr. Derek Pitts is one of our favorite people to talk to about these subjects. He's a chief astronomer, astronomer and director of the Franklin Institute Planetarium. So, Dr. Pitts, is it going to get close? How close is it going to get? How long do you have to wait, Jenna? It's going to take about 300, it's going to be about 300,000 miles away from Earth sometime in the future. Over the next 100 years, we really don't have to worry about it at all because its orbit around the sun is not going to bring it close to Earth. So we're safe on this one, but if you can wait for a few centuries, maybe you might see it in the night sky. We'll see how good some of that anti-aging cream really is and <laughs> see how long that can go, Dr. Pitts. But you know, they, it's great to be able to identify this stuff, but then the, the next question is, well, how do we get rid of it if it's heading towards Earth, if it comes really close? It is really important to be able to identify asteroids that look like they're on a potential collision course with Earth as early as we possibly can because the way in which we can keep them from interacting with Earth is if we can deflect them somehow. Now, a, simple, a really simple way to do this would be to land a rocket ship on the surface and gently push it with the rocket motors just a little bit at a time, and over time we can deflect its, uh, its path enough that it would miss Earth over a period of a few years or so. So the earlier we can detect, the better chance we have of being able to change its course. Do we have that technology available now? In a way, we have the technology available. I mean, we have the rocket motors developed and all that sort of thing. It's the idea of actually delivering it to an asteroid that looks like it's on a collision course with Earth and anchoring it there so that the rocket motors can then push it off course. So there's still some development of this technology that needs to be done, but you can bet that that's being worked on because we do have to look out for these asteroids because one of them impacting Earth could really ruin our day here.